now I'm the responsible person within that 2 agl uh, This project falls in my portfolio, and uh, I'm the one that, that takes the blame for it. Um, okay, this is why. You know, it's black. Um, the substation up in Belconnen that supplies electricity to Canberra is our only supply point. If that goes down, then we will be without power. Okay? There is no other supply point. We do not have any other generator capable of running the hospitals in town, running the <coughs> telephone systems, running street lights, and so forth. That is the reason to why we got into this. So, background, why did we do it? To get electricity supply to Canberra, Canberra in case the um, our feed goes down the hole. That substation is ra rated in the top 30 terrorist targets in Australia because of this particular issue. I think it's something we need. Can you imagine having a cold winter's night in Canberra? No lights. Phones will go out after two or three hours as the battery runs out in exchanges and your heater won't be working. Your gas heater will be, but your electricity heater won't. That's what could happen here. So what we have been doing, as a, uh, the government has been doing, and Actual AGL has been doing for many, many years, uh, I've been with Actual AGL now for nine years, been looking at what can we do to change that situation. So what we did was we, we went out and we, we as a commercial development team sat around the table and said, okay, how can we make this work? And uh, we looked at the base priorities we had out here. It had to be economically viable so we didn't have to increase electricity prices. It, um, it had to provide essential power supply to Canberra. You know, that's the reason to why we got into it in the first place. You don't have to feel sorry for me because I don't actually believe this is a money-making exercise factor, AGL. This is about essential power supply. Going to the state. Thank you. And you mentioned that the data centre is actually being used as the enabler for the power station. That's correct. But I we, we are very conscious about the financial success of this particular plant. What we have done is we have outsourced most of the risk, which also means that other people take a share of it. And that's where, you know, it's capital and TIE comes in. But in there, we have outsourced a lot of those problems to other people to end up with the end goal of having a generator in town. According to a press release issued by the Chief Minister, John Stanhope, in May 2007, your security and supply problem has already been resolved. He said, instead it was decided to build an additional electricity access point into the ACT through Williamson. <coughs> That is another way of doing it. These are the data centers. Okay? The data centers are blackout data centers. They will not be office buildings. Um, the, the way the land is, we cannot build office buildings in this land, which is fine by us. We are not interested in office building this is about data centers. There will, there, will be, there will be offices for the operational staff, but there will not be a major, you know, block of office buildings. You've the land already? No, that's <laughs> And that's one of the reasons why we can't build office space there, and we won't be building office space there. The preliminary assessment and plans that were submitted to ACT planning include over 8,000 square metres of office space. Why, why you 400 car parks there? 400 car parks for a couple of reasons. In case there is a disaster and people have to get to the data centres to do it. <laughs> Tony, Tony, you've probably got more scientific answer to why that's going on than I have. With um, 22,000 square metres of data centre space, there will be some employees there. Each, each of the buildings will require some car, uh, some employees. How many employees? How many employees? Not many. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to take the blame for that because no, no, no. Honestly, I, hey, I'm, I'm giving you an honest answer here. I have to take the blame for it because within the team, we always talked about Hume. It's only about a week and a bit ago that I understood it was actually in the district of Topranong. 
But if I'd gone out with a name District of Tokenong, how many in this room would have known where that was? No, we live in Tokenong. No, there, there is no cover. We are, fo we are following the process there is, you know, and we are following the process to detail. And we have been in the press many times over the last 12 months talking about this project. There is nothing new about it. <laughs> I can only tell you that you know I have certainly spoken about it. I've read a number of press clippings. I've been quoted in the press about this particular issue. So, yeah, you know, and also generator. It, uh, it, it is uh, what you're asking me to do is if you're going to do an extension at home, and uh, you had an architect doing the extension, and you had the engineer coming up with the drawings. But you just want to make 100% sure, so you went out and paid three times more to get two other people studied engineering draw and so forth. I, I suppose you know I'm, I'm trying to live within a within a process, and the process and, 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 and the process and, and I have met the process and I've tried to follow the process, you know, to the to the nth degree. And, and I can tell you what the process does not call for me to stand here tonight. You only are a quarter of a percent under the maximum I, I am within the limits. That's <laughs>